over the world? Yes, uh, I mean it's uh, my 12th, I think, time that I, I interview Maradona. So I expect always this uh, feedback because you know all Maradona says is uh, very interesting for the people, for the football people. Yes. So I mean it was not unexpected for me. Yes. Uh, I will translate. And I'll be back to you. طبعا سالته سؤال هل كنت متوقع نجاح حوارك مع مارادونا؟ قال لي دي المره ال 12 ان انا اعمل فيها حوار مع مارادونا وكمان هو امر شيق جدا دايما حواراتي مع مارادونا بتخص عالم كره القدم لكن طبعا بشكل خاص هو شايف ان هو حقق نجاح كبير جدا باخر انترفيو خاص بديجو ارماندو مارادونا. I want to ask you about the character of Maradona. What do you think about his character? Because all of that all of the time He's talking everywhere and making fun of himself. And uh, some people think this that he's not a good role model after he finished his career in the football. What do you think? Uh, the, his behavior with me was always brilliant. Of course. He was always very nice to me with uh, education. He was very nice always to Marca. I judge him as a football player and for me I mean maybe before before Messi or even after Messi was the number one in my generation yes so I is the only thing I know is the only thing I can have opinion and mm. I I like to judge people mm. on the on his behavior on me and I have only mm. great words for Maradona I want to ask you about Messi because uh, before they wrote that Maradona was insulting Messi about something before the matches and you asked him and, and he said no. Is it true that he said that he didn't insult Messi and he liked Messi so much but what happened in the media is to make problems between Maradona and Messi? Yeah, I think the, the opinion of uh, the Maradona's opinion on Messi He's quite positive as a football player. So he loves him as a football player. He recognizes he's the number one, mm. maybe after him. Uh, mm. So this, this is not uh, under huge. The thing is that, and th that was the polemic you say, you, you remain now. The mm. polemic was that he said that maybe as a leader, mm. he's not the one he would like to to recognize in him. But he mm. probably Maradona criticized the leader aspect, mm. the leader, uh, you know, detail of uh, Messi, but not the football player. I asked you about the character of Maradona. What do you think about Maradona? Regarding the fact that he may not be a good example for some people, as he says in the media. But I want to know your character. He said to me, he said to me in a very good way. سلوكه كمان اكثر من رائع واحترامه لجريده ماركا كان شيء جيد سالته على سؤال ميسي انه كان بعض الصحف اتقالت اتكلمت وقالت انه بي بينتقد ميسي بيقول انه قبل المباراه ميسي بيدخل الحمام لاكثر من مره وفهل الكلام ده صحيح قال مارادونا قال الكلام ده غير صحيح وان هم بيحاولوا يقعوا ما بين مارادونا وميسي آه والكلام ده غير ليس له اي اساس من الصحه اخوان uh, I want to ask you about Real Madrid and Solari. We all know that Solari signed a new contract until 2020, but you know with Florentino Perez there is there is no dates. He can sack you anytime after bad performance like what happened with Lobotigi. What do you expect uh, the success of Sol of Solari will be with Real Madrid? Yeah, I agree in that. I mean, <laughs> right now there is no uh, a deep plan in Real Madrid, so mm. Larry is there because he won four matches, but this doesn't mean that he will stay in 2022. Mm. Probably if he uh, unfortunately, unfortunately mm. lose like three, four games in a row, probably he will be stuck. Yes. If, if, even without, con I mean, without considering that he has a new contract. Mm. So there is no plan, manager plan in, in, in the Florentino Paris hand, uh, head. So, you know, this is the philosophy of Ramadan right now.
طبعا سالته اكيد على سولاري وريال مدريد جت تعادل 20 20 لكن هل مع فلورنتينو بيريز هل ممكن يكون في احترام للتواريخ؟ قال لي انا بتفق معاك ان ما فيش مع بيريز احترام للتواريخ ممكن سولاري يخسر ثلاثة اربع ماتشات على التوالي وبالتالي يكون خارج فريق ريال مدريد. Do you think اخوان ذات سولاري كان بي ذا نيو زين الدين زيدان اوف وينينج ذا تشامبيونز ليج ان كان بي a good uh, uh, opponent to Barcelona in the La Liga? It's difficult to predict the future. I mean... Uh, I know it's hard, but your expectations, I know that Marca and you have a good relationship uh, with uh, Real Madrid party, and of course, yeah, you are a good audience of, uh, of football. So I, I want to know your expectations. I mean, the, the expectations are not really good. Mm. In the sense that Cristiano is not there, there is not a good replacement for him. Yes, uh, I agree. Is not, there, is, there is no big figures in Real right now. All the mm. big players are, in, in a, no, are not in a good shape like uh, Isco, Asensio, Benzema. Asensio, Asensio we heard in the, in the Italian news that he wants to go to Juventus. I don't know if it's true or not, but this is what we heard on the news. Uh, on, on, I think, Tutu Sport uh, magazine. Well, Tutu Sport is, uh, is more a, a Juventus, you know. <laughs> news, I understand, understand, I understand. <laughs> so, but, uh, I mean, I think any, any player of Real who is playing regularly in Real Madrid wants to go to another, another team except mm. Cristiano because of the, the money and the... You know, the big agreement with Florentino Perez. But I don't think Asensio will go. Yes. Asked about whether Solari is going to be a new player or a new player in the Champions League or a new player in the Champions League. I think the problem is difficult. After the return of Ronaldo and after the time that the problem is not a big problem, the problem is that Ronaldo is not a big problem. The problem is that Barcelona, Juan, Barcelona is unstable. One game he can win, another game he can lose, uh, with Messi or, or without Messi. But I know I, I want to know the future of Valverde. Do you think that he can continue with Barcelona, basically, or it depends about the results and about the stability and the sustainability of Barcelona in La Liga or the Champions League? In football, in Egypt, in Australia, mm -hmm. in Spain, everything depends on results. Yes, agree. But if, if, if Valverde wins Champions League and um, um, La Liga, who, who, will, who, ha, I mean, who can say that he will go away? Nobody. So it all depends on the result. يعني سالته على مستقبل فالفيردي مع برشلونه برشلونه ما عندوش مستوى مستقر بيكسب مباراه بيخسر الثانيه سواء بوجود ميسي او بعدم وجود ميسي وبالتالي هو بيقول لي اي حاجه في الدنيا مرتبطه بالنتائج. فاينلي اخوان اي ونت تو اسك اباوت مو صلاح. وي هيرد ذات برشلونه كان ميك اور وي اور ات ويل ميك اكسشينج بين ديمبلي اند محمد صلاح بين ليفربول اند برشلونه. از ات ترو اور اتس رومرز؟ Um, what is true is that uh, Dembélé, I mean, Barcelona is not happy with Dembélé, not only by how, by how his performance on the pitch, mm. but also about his scandals out of the pitch. So yes. they, they are not happy with Dembélé. Yes. And I, I, I don't think Salah is a player right now for Barcelona because they have Suarez, Messi, Coutinho. Mm. They have so many players there, so mm. I don't think Salah has now played in Barcelona. In Real Madrid, does he have a, does he have any place in Real Madrid? Do you think that Real Madrid can make bid to Liverpool yes. to to win mm. uh, about transfer of Salah to Real Madrid from Liverpool? I think Real Madrid is looking for a, a real striker. It's yes. true that Salah scored a lot of goals, yes. but it's not a, a real, real mm. number nine number striker. So it's not maybe the you know the, the kind of player Ramadi is mm. looking for. But you never know. It's a great player, yes. and Ramadi has to have has to sign great, great players. Yes, that's true. Juan, thank you so much for being with me on the Lahari channel, and of course we are looking forward to having you again. Thank you so much.
كان معايا اخوان كاسترو صحفي بجريده ماركا واخر سؤال سالته على محمد صلاح والكلام اللي بيتقال انه ممكن يتم صفقه تبدليه ما بين برشلونه وبين ليفربول بسبب عثمان ديمبلي قال لي قلت له الكلام ده حقيقي ولا لا قال اللي قال لي الحقيقي ان عثمان ديمبلي مش مبسوط في برشلونه سواء داخل الملعب او خارج الملعب وبالتالي وجود محمد صلاح في برشلونه مش هيكون لي مكان اساسي وبالتالي صعب جدا الاقي محمد صلاح في برشلونه سالته هل ممكن يكون موجود في ريال مدريد قال لي ريال مدريد حاليا بيدور على لاعب راس حربه وممكن كمان من وجهه نظري ان فرص وجود محمد صلاح في ريال مدريد ممكن تكون احسن من برشلونه في الوقت الحالي ده كان كلامنا مع خوان كاسترو الصحفي بجريده ماركا نرجع تاني ليه